In this tutorial, I will show you how to quickly decompose tasks. In the previous lectures, we practiced with the user slice, and we've managed to subdivide the slab and beams. And now, in order to create a separate task for a particular subdivision, we'll isolate subdivided slab and beams. First of all, I'll hide the topography, select it, make right click, and hide selected, and then we will apply a filter that I created, and this filter filters out only unassigned objects. Activate the filter. Here is what we have. Our slab and beams. And now all we need to do is to select slabs in an appropriate order. So this will be the first one, second one, the third one, and the fourth one. Select the activity, which will be a parent activity for child activities for each area. Then make a right click over highlighted 3D objects and select create tasks under selected task. So the window will ask you whether you'd like to create a separate task for each resource, which is yes. And here we have four tasks for each subdivision. Now we don't see it because we have an active filter. I remind you that filters can be viewed from 3D view properties. Go to Windows and activate 3D view properties. Here we have two filters active. And now holding the shift bottom down, select beams and assign them to the tasks one by one. This will be the first group. Then we should have it like that. It's for second subdivision. This will be subdivision two. And lastly, subdivision three. Make right click, clear all filters. And what we forgot to do, we forgot to change appearance profile. So it was set as an equipment. Select task, make right click, and select assigned resources. Then go to the task properties. So when we select a task, we can see all the assigned resources selected. So the same way if we select all tasks, we can reassign appearance profiler for all of them to install. And yes. Clear selection. And now all tasks subdivided. Now you can change names for the subdivisions. You can right click rename tasks. After you rename the first task as part one, you can automatically rename the rest of the activities. For that, go to the right bottom corner and then drag down the cell. So the task names renamed in series. 